Welcome to the official CCL rules video. Before we go anywhere, here are your head coaches introducing themselves, their teams, and their assistants. What's going on guys, Psycho and the Ghost here, and I'm your coach of the Sunny Shore Spearers alongside my assistant coach, N7 Ryujin, also known as Lee. scrub -a dub dub what's in the tub? I am VA scrub -a nine the coach of the Sutopla scrub -a nines and my assistant coach is Max or Megashinka. Alright guys, it's Vsang HB here, your coach of the Canaleaf Carnivines with my assistant coach, the one and only Hoodlum Scrafty. What's good guys, my name is Slayer and I am the coach of the Saffron Shamans along with my assistant coach, Dean aka Chargers. Hey guys, this is Veronica or Wreck-It Rogers, depending on whatever you want to call me, I am your coach for the Canadian Camera Ups because I live in Alaska and that's Canada now. My assistant's coach, his name is Mega Chewbacca, or Wyatt, and he is awesome. Hi, I'm Kendra, and I'm the coach of the Safari Zone Stunfisks with my assistant coach, the Awkward Print Club. Hey guys, it's Firefly Kiri, and I am your coach for the New Bark Nantels, along with my assistant coach, Mr. AGZ. Hello, guys and girls! Demon OJM here with the NRW Needy Kings, alongside my assistant coach, Pachi Pachi Whitey. We are going to blow your mind! In this short rundown, we will be going over the clauses, upload schedule, further uploads, mid-season exchange, post-season exchange, point system, and the assistant coaches and their roles. First of all, the CCL will be hosted under Smogon rules and clauses along with their set tiers. So, Moody is banned, Swagger is banned, Bright Powder is banned. One Pokemon can no baton pass in your team. Oko moves are banned. Following clauses. Sleep Clause is on. Item Clause. Pokemon cannot hold more than two of the same item. Evasion Clause. Defog is allowed to get rid of hazards only, so Evasion Clause is on other than that. And Species Clause is also on. Now that we've gone through the first basic Smogon rules that we are applying, this is a schedule for the first entire season of the CCL. September 23rd, which is today, is the rules video. September 25th, which is the official start of week one of the CCL, is the power rankings for the preseason of the CCL, which will go up on my channel along with Cyclone's channel. September 27th will be the second week and the first battle of the CCL. The 4th of October, which will be the third week, is the first power rankings after the first battles on Cyclone the Ghost channel, my channel. October 11th will be week four and will be the second battle of the CCL. The 18th of October, or week 5, will be the second power rankings which will go up on my channel. October 25th will be week 6, and will be the third battle of the CCL. November 1st will be week 7, and the Missy's in Exchange stream, which will be on Cyclone Negos's Twitch, and will be uploaded to his YouTube after. The 8th of November, or week 8, will be the third power rankings after the third battle and the Midseas in Exchange stream on my channel. November 15th will be week 9 and the 4th battle of the CCL. November 22nd or week 10 will feature your 4th power rankings which will go up on my channel. November 29th will be week 11 and the 5th battle of the CCL. The 6th of December or week 12 will be the 5th power rankings on my channel. December 13th, week 13 will be the 6th battle of the CCL. The 20th of December, or week 14, will feature the 6th power rankings, which will also go up on my channel. 27th of December will be week 15, and will be the 7th and final battle of the regular season. The 3rd of January, or week 16, will be the playoff announcements of which coaches have made it into the playoffs on mine and V-Sing's channel. January 10th will be week 17, and it will be the postseason exchange stream, which will be on Cyclone's Twitch again, and also uploaded again to his YouTube channel right after. The 17th of January, which is week 18, will feature the first round of the playoffs, which will be uploaded on myself and Cyclone's channels, as well as the battlers themselves. The 24th of January, or week 19, will be the runner-up battles on my channel, v channel, and the participants' channel. The 31st of January, week 20, will feature the grand final of the CCL, where the battle will be uploaded on the coaches channels as well as my own and Cyclones. And finally, February 6th will be week 21, and will be the full league analysis stream, which will be on Cyclone the Ghost Twitch, and also uploaded to his YouTube channel. Further uploads. 
As well as the content we listed above, we will also bring to you a top 5 ranking video every two weeks on Cyclone of Easting's channel. This will consist of Cyclone of Easting ranking the top 5 performing Pokemon from the league that week based on kills. In addition to that, each coach will upload team building videos, post match analysis videos, as well as mock Wi Fi battles and showdown sessions with their assistant coaches if they wish on their own channels. To add a spin to the post match analysis, we will have each coach getting together after their battles to discuss how the battles went and pick each other's brains. Week 7 Trading or the Mid Season Exchange. Firstly, a Pokemon can be traded to another coach regardless of tiers, i.e. if an Illumise was to be accepted as a trade from Milotic, that is allowed. Secondly, if you want to switch a Pokemon for an undrafted Pokemon, that Mon would have to be in the same tier, i.e. a Weezing can be swapped for a Mantine. Thirdly, a Mega can be traded with another coach regardless of tier. If you want to swap your Mega Pokemon, you'd have to remove a Mon on your draft in the tier of the respected Mega. If you do this, your other Mega Pokemon would have to be swapped with a Pokemon that the non-Mega form is in, i.e. a Mega Altaria can be your new Mega, but your Pinsir is now an NU Pokemon, you would have to pick another NU Mon. Your limit is 3 trades slash swaps. If you swap Megas, that counts as 2 trades or swaps. The order for the trades or swaps will be randomized. This will be re-randomized every single round. If a coach cannot make it to this stream of which the mid-season exchange takes place on, their assistant coach can take their place. This will be streamed on Cyclone Negosis Twitch channel, and afterwards it will be uploaded on his YouTube channel. The mid-season exchange itself will take place after the week 6 battles are complete. Week 8 has no battles but will have power rankings for the newly drafted Pokemon. Week 9 onward will be the start of the rounds once again through until week 16 where the playoffs will be announced. Week 17 trading or the postseason exchange. The postseason exchange will be run very similarly to the midseason exchange with some differences. The first difference is that only two Pokemon will be allowed to be exchanged. Exchanging your Mega would count as both exchanges. Secondly, coaches will not be permitted to trade with one another, only exchange Pokemon with the undrafted Mons. The Pokemon that were drafted by the coaches that didn't make the playoffs are now considered undrafted and are eligible to be picked again for the postseason exchange. The point system. Points are tallied up via this method. If a Pokemon gets a kill, that trainer gets plus one point. If a Pokemon dies, consequently that trainer gets minus one point. Status. In general, if Toxic is used, and a Pokemon dies from the Toxic Poison, the Pokemon that inflicted the Toxic will get the point, and the Pokemon that died obviously will lose a point. Stealth Rock and Spikes, the Pokemon that set up the, the Stealth Rock or the Spikes that kills the Pokemon will get the point, regardless of if they are alive or dead. Recoil Moves, if a Pokemon uses a Recoil Move and dies consequently, they would lose that point. If they kill the Pokemon that they use the recoil move on, they would get plus a point and minus a point, therefore keeping it at nil. If a recoil move is used on a Pokemon and the Pokemon that it was used on is still alive, they would get the kill, and the Pokemon that used the recoil move and died from it would lose a point. Final Gambit. If a Pokemon uses Final Gambit and has more HP than the opponent, then the Pokemon would get plus one and minus one point, and the Pokemon that the move was used on would get minus one point. Explosion or self-destruct. If a Pokemon explodes or self-destructs and gets a kill, it would get plus one and minus one a point, therefore leaving it as neutral, but if the Pokemon that it was used on is still alive after the explosion or the self-destruct, then the Pokemon that is still alive would get the point, and the using Pokemon would lose a point. Healing Wish, Loon Dance, and Memento are the same thing. They follow the same principles. If a Pokemon uses that move and dies consequently, then the Pokemon on the other side of the field would get the point, and the Pokemon that used that move would get minus one point for their team. Assistant Coaches and their role. Assistant Coaches are permitted to have Wi-Fi or Showdown mock battles with their coach in order to prepare for that week's battle. Assistant Coaches are not permitted to be there during the battle. Every coach must have the battle on their own. The reason every coach has one assistant is so every coach has an equal footing in preparations for battles. Assistant coaches are allowed to represent a coach for their battle if the main coach cannot be there for the scheduled time. Thank you for being a part of the CCL and we hope to see you in the future seasons.
Please follow us on Twitter, which will be linked down in the description below to keep up to date with any announcements and information. And please make sure to subscribe to the coaches to see the upcoming battles, along with following and subscribing to the EXPNU who are covering this league entirely in the weekly Newsroom Roundup videos. Bring on the wall.